the new USB 3.2 had just been announced by Promoter Group. When it will release, it will affect our day-to-day -day digital life. It will change the way we transfer the data between devices. But many of us know USB as a just a cable which we use to connect devices and nothing more than that. Today we are going to give you a quick overview of a USB technology as well we'll explain USB 3.2 and the differences it has with its predecessors. Hi friends, you're watching Mindscape and let's explore the USB in detail. Before getting into USB 3.2, we will first understand its predecessors, so it will be easier to understand what's new in the USB 3.2. USB is nothing but a plug with a cable which we used in our day-to-day -day life to transfer data between devices. The various versions of USB are basically classified by the overall standard and the maximum transfer speed of the connection. That is time it takes to transfer one file from one device to another through the USB cable. As well it classified by the maximum transfer rate of power that is actual electric power needed from the device end plugs to pass the data to the cable. So there are few versions of USB technology. The first one is USB 1.1. Although USB 1.0 is technically the first version of USB, it never really made it to the market. So USB 1.1 is the first standard we all used. It could deliver data at 12 MB per second. That means if you have a file size of 1 MB, the connection can transfer 12 such files in one second. The second version of USB arrived in April 2000 and it provided a massive boost in maximum data transfer. That is up to 480 MB per second. That means you can transfer 480 files of 1 MB in just one second. USB 3.0 arrived in 2008. USB 3.0 was a big change as it brought new connector to allow for its extra speed and power capability. USB 3.0 can run at up to 5 GB per second. That means you can transfer 5000 files of 1 MB in just one second. Then came the USB 3.1. The latest and greatest version of USB was released in July 2013, but we rarely see this connection in actual products available in market. It can deliver 10 GB per second transfer speed. That means you can transfer 10,000 files of 1 MB in just one second. So these are the USB versions, or rather technological upgraded versions of USB. Now we'll see the type of physical plugs which are used with various technological versions we just saw. Basically there are type A and type B plugs to any USB cable. At one end there is a type A and on another is type B. Type A connects to the host end. Host means computer or laptops or these days a wall adapter used for charging devices and the type B connects to the client or your device like mobile phones, portable hard drives, monitors or printers. So type A plug we have been seeing for long. No matter which device you use, one end of it is usually a type A port. Almost every version of USB technology uses this plug to connect the host device. Type B is other end of cable and connects to the device. And as there are wide variety of devices being used, this end of cable has different shapes and sizes. Like for mobile phone devices, you need a small plug. For printer, you require a bigger plug. So there are various options in Type B plugs, like mini USB which is used in TV and printers and micro USB which is widely used in smartphones or Android devices. Then came the revolutionary type C plug which is based on USB 3.1 technology. Why it's revolutionary? 
This plug removed the difference between the Type A and Type B plugs. USB-C plug replaced both ends of the cable. Now we have the same plug which connects to your host as well to your device. There are even no more mini and micro versions of the plug. The Type-C is already comes in a small size with great transfer rates and power of latest USB 3.1 that can transfer 10 GB per second. There are many brands like Samsung, LG, HTC are already using Type-C connections with few of their devices. In latest MacBook Pro, USB-C connection is given not just as a data transfer plug but it actually supplies power to the device to charge batteries. So this is what happening in USB technology. But just before two days, promoter group announced USB 3.2. So you can easily understand it's a technological upgradation, not a physical one. So this technology will work with USB-C plugs and there is no upgradation in physical form of plugs. As USB Type-C currently uses latest USB 3.1 technology which transfers 10 GB per second, when it will upgrade to the USB 3.2, it will be able to transfer data at 20 GB per second. However, the device you are using will have to support the newest USB hardware and come with the modern USB-C connectors. On the plus side, you won't need new cables as the original USB-C cables were designed to eventually be used with the higher speeds. Another benefit of USB 3.2 is that it will work with USB 3.0 and earlier devices and requires only a minor hub update. I hope you get clear idea about different types of USB versions available in market as well some key features of upcoming USB 3.2. If we have even slightly impressed you by our creation, admire us by subscribing our channel. Hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.